Hi, I'm Peter Wasserman. I'm really happy to be here with Keeper Collection and I'm going to answer a few questions that a lot of people have asked me about champagne. Now, how cold should a champagne be? Well, the colder the champagne is, the more festive the drink, and it's not really about focusing on the wine, but uh, more on having a very, very refreshing drink. The warmer the drink becomes, let's say normal white wine temperature, um, the more the wine shows through. Personally, I like to serve champagnes at the aperitif very cold, and during a meal, I like to serve them more around a little bit under white wine temperature. Here's another question. How to chill your champagne and uh, uh, whether one method or another might affect negatively or positively a champagne. Well, putting the champagne in the refrigerator a day before is one of the perfect ways, so, uh, is the most perfect way to chill your champagne. Um, however, what happens if you just have people coming over and you want to chill champagne rather fast and you put it in the freezer? Well, in my opinion, it really doesn't have that much of, a, of an effect. Maybe if you've been tasting a whole lot of champagnes during the day, so on and so forth, and you've tasted the champagne previously chilled in one way and then chilled um, by putting it in the freezer, you might notice a difference. But it's only in that occasion when you're really focusing on it that you will tell. Now, what's the best way to chill and serve champagne? Well, in my opinion, uh, putting it in the refrigerator for at least a day to get it really nice and cold. And then when you're ready to serve it, prepare a bucket of ice. Now, you want to put about a quarter of ice in the bottom of a bucket, fill up the bucket to about half, and then put the champagne inside. Uh, not just 100% ice because it won't chill it properly, but that will keep it at proper temperature during the whole service. <laughs>